welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna continue with a new episode of Achilles Legends Untold. This will be episode 7 I guess. The only thing with the... in the previous one we were like... Fighting Gaga Memnon. I was like testing... Uh, this sword? Yeah, with a 40% crit chance. Apparently this sword is working... the crit chance of of the weapons I guess are like mainly for the heavy attacks because on a light attack but let, let me show you I don't know if you saw the previous episode so I, I'm, I'm just gonna play this for a while just to prove a point let's I don't know if I have any points no we don't let's rest and let's move on so actually, um, this weapon, like I, I told you, it says it's like 40% crit chance, yeah? So if you're doing like a charge, a launched attack, basically. Like this. Yeah, it may work. But look, I'm just light attacking. And I'm gonna do around 100 attacks. Let me see where we were, yeah, so... Let's check some opponents first. If I'm doing this, usually it's working, you know. But look, on lights, bro, it, it never works. Maybe... I don't know, if you're extremely lucky, yeah, maybe you're gonna hit a crit. But it's not one, it's not like 40%. I'm telling you, it's not 40%, check this. How many? Uh, if you want, I can count them. No. <laughs> we did around six. If I'm doing heavy, it's working. Like I said. Like the lunge attacks are working most of the time. But the weapon is not working with light attacks. Beside this, the game has like a lot of issues with the numbers mainly. I pointed them out in the previous episode. This game, I, I don't know, it wasn't supposed to be released. But at least not like this, you know what I mean? Because it's, it, it's far away from a finished product, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use heavies on him, on them basically. So just check the light. Thanks. Most probably I'm gonna get cursed in this thing because, you know, I'm just testing, I don't give a shit about damage. Just to prove a point, you know. I did it already in the previous episode. But it's like... I hit like... On the previous episode I have like... I hit some enemies, yeah, uh, two archers were in front of me, I'm doing like a, a charge heavy on them. One of it is getting like 259, the second one 259, one of it is mark, marked as a crit, critical hit and the other one is like a normal hit. After that I'm hitting like a 213 crit on a guy, basically, with a lunge attack. And if I'm doing normal lunge attack on, on him with no crit, Bro, it's the same shit, it's 213, you know. That's why the... I don't know. Number-wise, the game is fucked. And I don't know. I... I even if you use, like... I'm gonna show you another one. Don't drag me to it. I'm not one of the kidnappers. I came here to free you. Run away as fast as you can. Oh, thank the gods. The rest of my companions are still somewhere here. Please, find them. Yes, my friend, we're gonna find them, don't worry. Uh, let's equip this. Basically, instead of the shield, we're gonna equip... Check the damage on that. I I'm just picking what weapons you want. It's 129 plus 72, yeah? We are doing an attack. And now the damage dropped on this shit. I can understand this dual wielding, yeah? And now the damage dropped on this shit as well. So basically I can understand it drops because it's dual wielding. But now I'm in dual wielding, yeah? 
it's like look check on this weapon it's telling me i'm basically what i want to do now is to remove the second uh one hand sword or axe check this uh 145 yeah And now it's 104. Let's switch it to this one. 35, let's check again. 35, 58. 25, let's check. I don't know. Let's pick random ones. Let's pick this one. 74 was the main one. 56, 88, 58. 63 76 i don't know if this one will work let's see 54 uh 69 yeah so let's see 49 i can understand it's a dual wielding you know because i'm not idiot but in the same time you know why uh this info tab is not updating in real time because my biggest issue is like you're gonna go and upgrade a weapon like I did with this one for example or with even with this one you'll go and upgrade a weapon yeah you are upgrading the weapon you are equipping it you are fighting a mob and after that you are checking f I don't know you found a new sword and you are checking and you realize your weapon is not doing the the damage it was supposed to do if you are paying close attention to the numbers you're gonna realize your weapon is fucked, you know, because that's how I'm realizing it. Uh, on this one, I didn't, I didn't uh, attack, you know, and I was like, just uh, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna upgrade this because it was looking way better than this one. But as soon as I upgraded it and I used it, I was realizing it's just fucked up. But now let's just continue with the tests, and I wanna see something else. If I'm using this in a dual wielding, if I'm using the the rest of my brothers and the oracle toward that precipice please warrior save them if you can yeah i'm curious if i'm using the basically that sword in a dual wielding what will gonna happen we're gonna crit because obviously that weapon is not really critting with light attacks so it's just ridiculous, you know what I mean? Let me see where the fuck we are going. So, we should go through here. Yeah, okay. I want to explore all this area before we move on. Because, uh... I don't want to come back again and again. So, let's... I, I deactivated the map because it's just fucked up. Okay, we got one crit in free attacks. Bro, I thought I'm gonna fall into it. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Where is my guy going? Okay. It looks like nothing is there. Let's just keep moving on. One. We critted at least. Yeah, we are critting with with heavy with uh, basically because what I'm doing here I'm using a lunge attack but it's not a lunge attack just because you use dual wielding so yeah apparently this I'm I'm quite, kind of fine with this weapon like mix of weapons because right now basically I'm doing like 200 most of the time with the, my main one because I saw it's critting you know on heavy is, is critting, see? The only issue is like it's not critting when you are light attacking. And that's awkward. Because they give you no info about it, you know? The tabs are not telling you a shit, you know? That's the thing with that. Uh, attributes wise, it's pretty fucked up. I don't think that luck is increasing your crit chance. And anyway, as soon as I'm gonna, because I made like a, when we started the game, I went a bit 
It was a first look, but I went deep into the skills just because I wanted to see exactly what I'm gonna what I'm gonna play basically, you know. Uh, being a deathless run, you want to invest your points like, like the best you can, you know. And uh, I spotted loads of bullshits in that shit, you know. It's like even even the the skills, you know that that window is like pathetic you know it, it well, the first look it looks big but it's not really so big you know it's like extremely lame and it's looking like unfinished you know what i mean is this game is not a finished product i'm telling you and uh, what is uh, even more disappointing for me bro this game is if if you ask me, this game is shit, yeah? Without being like, trying to shit on this game. I'm just telling you my straight opinion about it. Uh, but to have like, developers so delusional, because I just checked the, the, their page, you know? I was thinking they were coming, they, they will come back to the game, you know? And fucking patch all these shits up, because this is not, not normal. I know the game is not expensive, it's like just around 20 pounds or something like that, but I don't give a shit about it. For, a, for someone who wants to play it, this game is... It's full of glitches. It's... I don't know. I'm gonna make a, tu a tutorial about a guide, like... In-depth guide, as soon as we reach the second big map, map like... Because... Uh, we encounter a couple of maps we encounter like just one new type of enemy most of the bosses are pathetic uh 101 it's impossible for you to die i'm telling you like straight ahead the only boss which will kill you it's paris you know the guy in the beginning but that motherfucker is not killing you because i think i can beat that fucker as well even it's on the hardest difficulty on my first try, I took him on what? On 30-40% I guess? So it's not even such a big deal to defeat that motherfucker, you know? But... Uh, the bosses... Are lame as fuck. The bosses are lame as fuck, I swear to god. Uh, we fought a scorpion... King. Which is exactly a scorpion, you know what I mean? Nothing, nothing different. It's like, <laughs> it was just a bigger scorpion. I, I definitely recommend you to go and see that fight. Because I, I let the timestamps, you know. So just go and see the boss fights. I I don't know how to put it. I didn't found any of the bosses at least challenging. Uh, on the previous episode, we fought like um, a Wraith. Which... It was like the same as the previous raid we already fought, but it had, it was like, to say so, it was like a bit challenging, but I guess it was a bit, bit, bit challenging just because it had like a massive health pool and his damages were like really, really hurting, like, you know what I mean? But I used like, even on that one, I used like two potions and... Or something like that. It's, it's so... I don't know. But as I said, from my point of view, this game is like... Useless. You can die in this game. Because we are on Deathless Run, yeah? You can die. But I'm telling you, you're not gonna die. Because... You are like outplayed by some fucking tough mechanics. You're gonna die just because... So many enemies will spawn on top of you... It will be overwhelmed. You're gonna be stunned. Up. And... Yeah. Some of them are gonna just continuously knocking you down and all that things. And yeah, you're gonna die. It's... It's easy to die in this game. But if you pay attention to how many enemies you have. If you prioritize them, you know. I think you'll be safe. Because we are like on around 6 in between 6 and 9 hours in this game and we didn't die here 
we are still on the deathless run and like i said i don't know in episode 4 or something i'm telling you i can beat the final boss without even using a potion i don't know what the final boss will do but my build will be like badass because i want to invest all my points into into vitality and i'm telling you we're gonna be around 2.5k hp 2.5k hp that's a lot we are now on 1.1 and all these all these things you are seeing here they are shit all what you see here is bullshit it's like just they didn't even bother to fucking work them like properly on this one you have a passive you have a passive for spending all the points in this on this one you don't have anymore don't have anymore you don't have anymore you have like this fucking useless cunt this is like useless i'm gonna i'm gonna make a guide as soon as we reach the a new big map if they have a new big massive map you know with all that things and i'm gonna as soon as we reach that i'm gonna make a guide or like a you know most of the aspects of the game which we encounter till that point but i'm gonna be brutally honest you know what I mean? So, if you are a fan of the game, you're gonna hear a lot of complaints about what is this shit? This is endurance, okay? And why we don't have like a passive shit on it? Why we don't have like, if you spend like fucking, I don't know, 10, 11 points on it, why we don't have a passive? What is this? A fucking uh, Pegasus, or I don't know how it's called, like a fucking unicorn. What the fuck is this shit? You, you spend points in it to get wrath. I don't even know if Wrath is like, Wrath is giving you fu fury and what else? Fucking curse resist. Curse resist is good actually. But no passives, no nothing, you know what I mean? This is like a shield build. This is like a fucking luck build with some extra experience on it. This is like counter deflecting and all that things. And guess what? That was it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> So I did it like, I, I explained you all the things in like fucking how much, 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, 5 minutes. And mechanic wise, combat mechanics, guys, stay away from this game. It's repetitive and it's getting extremely boring, boring as fuck. All my fights are gonna look exactly the same. Even if I'm switching weapons, it's the same shit, you know, it's, it's not like a matter of what weapons you are using no it's not a matter of what combat combat style you prefer because you don't have any it's it's not like you have options you are presented with like some weapons but they are not options they are like just some weapons most of them are just there to fill the game you know and to be like rewards i swear to god i didn't found any rewards like interesting rewards Put it like this, I was like defeating the boss, uh, the last boss, uh, Agamemnon, yeah? So I was defeating that motherfucker with this shitty sword and the shield, which I, I didn't use a shield till now, I was just using it to test this fucking weapon. And beside this, I used one of these things. This thing is like, these petals, anyway, this, this is a harp, it's not a petal, I don't know, from, they are on shrooms, these developers are on shrooms, you know what I mean? This petal increased the chance of looting items from defeating enemy, enemies from, for a short, for a period of time. I, I used this one, and the boss which was wield, uh, wielding a dual hand, a, a two hands uh, axe, so it was like a... You know, a mix in between a morning star and a fucking axe. He dropped me. Let me show you what the fuck I got from him. I don't know what, oh, from where he dropped that shit. He was holding it in his ass. Where the fuck he was holding his, this, this weapon? This is a one hand weapon. Where the fuck he, he put it? You know, he didn't use this shit. He was using a different weapon. Why? Till this point, I, I still don't have a, a two-hand uh, two axe. Why I don't have a two-hand hammer? I want so bad a ban hammer. I want to smash the shit out of these motherfuckers. But guess what? 
you won't have and all your fucking fights will look exactly like this you're gonna ra run around you're gonna use this you know because it's like a lunge attack it's like the lunge attack you know sprinting and heavy attacking because he's doing the most amount of damage and it's because he's like the only one which can crit light attacks cannot crit in this game and if you don't don't trust me or if you don't believe me i'm gonna prove a point let me show you again now and like i said numbers in this game are just ridiculous these guys have no idea about math basic math i'm not i'm not expecting them to know like fucking extreme math just basic fucking math it's if a weapon has like 40 percent chance on the third attack it will crit it's like most of the times you know you need uh, from my point of view on two attacks you're gonna get a crit because it's almost 50 50 chance you know what i mean but not on this game apparently on this game if i'm using light attacks let me show you now because they are like not extremely this uh, these enemies are like easy i think so let me use the spartan shield because we look badass let me pot and let me see so two attacks on that motherfucker three four five six seven eight nine no crit again this weapon 40 percent chance let's pull another one I'm using just lights, just to just make make it clear. Cause if I'm doing like heavies, yeah, they will crit. When you see a yellow number, it means like I was critting. Not all the time, cause sometimes the yellow number is like a normal attack. It's just yellow. That's the difference. I'm on hardest difficulty by the way and, and look what I'm doing just with normal attacks I'm just tanking the shit out of them and my build is not even completed yet ok we have here at least you, uh, I, I attack like at least 25 times yeah so I don't think you saw any crits till now. Let me equip this. I don't understand what these puzzles are the retarded puzzle I ever saw. They are uh, testing your eyesight, I guess. And these developers, when I saw that shit on their where, uh, on their store page, I thought it's a joke. I swear to God, they are doing now training courses for the ones who want to learn how to game develop and storytelling i was like <laughs> i was like bro <laughs> you you are kidding me now no don't teach anyone how to to do games like these ones please the game graphic wise is looking amazing it's not amazing come on i, I may over exaggerate it's looking decent it, it's a good graphic game uh it has this unstuck button which is just sick this button is sick i swear to god it's like the best button you, you'll ever saw the gods themselves must have sent you here i don't know how to thank you the best show of gratitude would be if you run from here and survive is there anyone else here I saw a few of my companions and the oracle being led toward that precipice over there. Please, free them if you can. They have just two lines. So if I'm speaking now, oh, I, I bugged him already. So I wanted to show you they have just two lines. Yeah, so they are saying the main shit and after that they are repeating the second one. Unfortunately, this one is bugged. So what? what is showing you here is debug this game uh, that's the perfect bro i don't even need to explain to you this guys what you see on my screen is what you're gonna get 
is like this this is the this is how it's supposed to the game to be called you know Achilles debug 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 please and this these guys which develop this game I don't know who the fuck they are I don't give a shit I know it's their first game but bro don't try to pretend now you can teach people how to fucking develop games bro this game is shit this game is shit I'm playing it yeah because I started it and because I started it I'm extremely deep into mechanics and all these things you know and unfortunately I start playing their game and apparently it's like this game is not even like I said I don't think this game was like supposed to be released I think it could stay even more on the early access I heard this game was on in early access from 2022 and it got released like in November last year like almost 24 so I bought it anyway on a discount I don't recommend you to buy this game like on full price because this game it's a disappointment from what I played till now maybe if they if we're gonna encounter on the second map or the because we put it like this this is like already the third but I can't call this a map we've been on a second map which was a city I'm gonna try to show you actually we're gonna we're gonna see when we're gonna reach the a teleporter we reach a, a city where like uh, Agamemnon was like you know the emperor or the the boss of the fucking place and he locked himself down with some citizens and his guards over there isolating himself for the, from the others but yeah we have here a, a shrine but I, I couldn't call that a map you know that map was like too small you know it was like a fucking look these things again see this these things you're gonna you're gonna get stuck into texture like this see? and imagine you are dodging yeah you try to dodge that some some enemies and you're gonna get caught in a texture like that all of them are gonna surround you and if you are like not having like extremely fast reflexes to use this you're gonna die my friend let's try to get rid of that debug because I don't like it if we teleport now we don't need to teleport because we already reached it so I wanted to show you the map let me see if we can see the maps from here cultist territory Oh, this is actually called the cult cultist territory. I was calling them cultists, but I didn't even know they are called cultists. Like, uh, this is Greece. This is the main map. This is main fortress. Oh, but they added this as a map. This is like a dungeon, to say so. This is the second map, the town, basically, and we have two more maps. Okay. So I hope at least another one of it will be like the same, like the scale, at least the same scale with Greece, because it's like a bigger map, you have like more shits to do on that map. But uh, yeah, so basically we are almost, uh, I think we are at least halfway through the game. Uh, and I hope on the, on the new big map, like... We're gonna encounter some new enemies because I'm fight fighting the same enemies from the start of the game and I'm not even kidding sorry I'm like not checking the map and I'm just running around like uh, when I'm speaking with you guys so I, I don't really give a shit about this because anyway I, I to be fair with you I'm like kind of losing my patience with this game it's like we are testing again the lights we, we came back on light basically yeah 40% 40, 40 free chance on this weapon again 
I think we already bro broke the game like for a long period of time we broke the game. With the vitality build you are breaking the game extremely fast. I'm gonna explain it as soon as we reach the new map I told you. I'm gonna make a guide. Uh, what weapon to choose like... A couple of builds even if I didn't play the builds. You know I don't need to play other builds to, to understand how the builds are working on this one. Let me heal. Yeah, it's just annoying because that one's like they are like having a chain combo and they can interrupt me if they are like catching me in that one and I'm just face tanking that. I just try to squeeze as many lights as I can. We are on over. 40, 50 light. I'm calling light attacks light. So we are on over 50 of them, I guess. And we couldn't really sow one creep. Let me dodge it. Because, for example, if you are on fire, wait for your stamina to regen and just roll it out. And you're gonna get rid of that. Even weapons, you don't have loads of them. You have like just a couple of weapons. See, no crits. That's what I'm trying to prove like we we have no fucking crit mm, let's break these objects this game is a joke you know I, I, it should be released on 1st of April you know what I mean if the release was on 1st of April I could understand it like And what, what frustrated me the most, it was just because I wanted to see some up, updates on this game, I spotted they are like training, they are, they are pretending now they can train people to develop games and storytelling. Bro, the storytelling on this game is, you have like a couple of quests which are like nice, like the Yantes quest, it's, it's a sad nice story um, beside that you have just bullshit wait a second what the fuck is going on wait a second i need to switch weapons because apparently i'm ambushed now let's use this in main hand and let's switch back to c 183 you see that remember this One eighty three, yeah. I think I need to kill them. Because I saw they are spawning and I don't wanna I don't want them spawn on top of me because that would be shit. Exactly what I saw, I don't want them to spawn on top of me and they're like Yeah, these are my main weapons too. <laughs> That's why they are like... I'm even using a different one in the main hand. Which is, I think, is better than this. But that's why I'm like... Going through them like... Butter. I don't know what's the deal with this. Debug still. Right. Now I can move that lever. Ah, oh, okay. Check the number now. It was 183, now it's what? Two. 
this is what I was using previously in the main hand. You know, I wasn't using it because it was something special about it. I was using it just because it can cause burn and is still keeping the the same rate. But I like this one in a way. Just because if I'm using heavies, I can crit with that. And actually, like I said, all the game mechanic is around... Not the game, the combat mechanic is around heavies. Because without a heavy, you can't really fight, you know what I mean? It's, uh, they died, you know, so fast just because I was using, like, heavy attacks. Now I'm gonna switch back to my... To this build, yeah? Because we are back on the weapon, which is like 50%, 40% uh, crit. He saw a shrine, apparently. Look, another detail. This map. This map, it's, it's useless. This map, it's useless. I don't know why they added it. If they added it, why didn't allow us to zoom out at least two times to get a zoom out? Because you're going to get confused using this one you're gonna get even even more confused using this you know if you are using the main map it's way better but if you are using this you're gonna be confused trust me because you think you you passed that that area but you didn't you know what i mean so that's why i'm keeping it closed because as soon as i want to check the map you know i'm just opening the the big map like Yeah, I don't want to give you, like, I don't want to be a, sound like a, a Karen, you know what I mean, but, oh fuck's sake, this game is useless. It's, it's feeling like I'm wasting my time with it, you know, I don't enjoy it anymore. Like I said, maybe the second map will gonna be like, you know, the point where they'll prove me I was wrong, and I will admit it. But till now, I can say, I, I can say, in, beside the graphics and that, uh, oh my god, what a damage, and that unstuck button, they have nothing else in this game which is like interesting nothing else and they they are saying this game is supposed to be a souls like game i think they they didn't play any souls like game they said this game is like rpg what rpg elements because you have like some skills and some points to invest into something and beside that it's kind of nothing you have like a couple of builds let's say you have like not a lot of builds, couple of them. I can see n even now when I'm using this this sword. I can see like a shield build working, you know, because this weapon is a shit weapon, and I, I can still manage to kill them all with not a lot of stress. All right, now I can move that lever. Oh, but wait, because actually we can use the shield to throw it over there. Captain America. Now I, can move that lever. I don't know why, what he means. I don't know if you heard it. He, he's saying like he can move that lever. I mean, I think he's meaning like the lever. But the lever on what? Because I'm not seeing any levers. I can see this. But I don't know what lever he means. Oh, we got a new spear, yeah? I tested the spears in previously. Five spears, they have the same attack patterns. And basically, you have these skills to use. Which is like... Just four spears. Overall, we have four skills. Why the fuck they didn't implement it like skills on each single weapon why laziness that's why i guess 
yeah and they they want to train people on how to create games bro oh my fucking god some people that i just now i can move that lever you know you put it like this you you install the i don't know uh cooler on your computer and now you are like a computer master you know what i mean something like that it's something similar to that i'm gonna go uh, like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna make a guide about this whole shit and like it will be like a 30 40 minute guide about it i guess with all the weapons and all your choices and all what you can really play but right now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go very very deep into it. Anyway, it's nothing deep to go into it. I thought I'm gonna get rid of this debug <laughs> message, but apparently we are not. We explored everything, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we can move on. The final stretch. These plants are interesting, but you can exploit the shit out of them. If you wait... See, if, if I'm doing heavies, the weapon crit. And it's critting, critting like properly, how it's supposed to crit. on a 40% chance you're gonna quit most of the times you know what I mean that's my point and now I'm gonna I, I defeated this with lunge attacks and now I'm gonna defeat this with normals show me one crit I'm hitting like three crits out of four with the lunge attack and while I'm I'm trying to do normal attacks, he's barely barely doing damage like. I'm not saying like barely critting because I didn't saw any crits to them. I'm hitting them from behind. I, I was like trying everything first. Usually when you hit an enemy from behind, the crit rate should go up automatically, you know what I mean? The crit rate should just go up. What the fuck is that motherfucker doing? He was sticking his dick in that fireplace. That was a heavy. This is a heavy. This is another heavy. This is another heavy. Now light. Lights will never quit. Maybe we'll... Maybe they'll crit, I'm not saying like they will never crit, but... You should check the previous video. You're gonna be amazed. How ridiculous this game is. Right. Now I, can move that I was hitting them too, previously. Okay, so now we can move on. I was hitting them too previously with a lunge attack and <laughs> you saw they were like two archers yeah now I can move that lever. both of them took 29, uh, 259 damage one of it was a yellow one and one of it was a normal one you know what I mean I was like what the fuck is that shit it's like are you guys alright <laughs> you guys uh, understand the idea of the fucking crit the damage should be slightly bigger at least now i can move that lever and all the all the enemies are the same you are fighting exactly the same enemies from the beginning what you fought on the first hour of the game, I'm fighting now. We just have a different apparel. And that's it. You know what I mean? It's nothing different. It's like they have the same fucking patterns. Movement, movement patterns, attacking patterns, whatever. 
name it and they are the same. The only thing different is like the appearance of them. Where the fuck are we now? Okay, so we are going on the right path. This is madness! This is Sparta. They copied that shit. From Sparta, from 300. That was a heavy attack, by the way. The one which created. This is a... They run through portal, okay. See, locking target is like a big, massive bullshit. I, I'm gonna cover everything in a, in a guide. This is the latest enemy we encounter, like, you know, they are like kamikaze. Okay, so I'm cursed now. What the fuck is wrong with this one? I thought we were gonna fight him. What the fuck? He vanished. Let's piss inside and maybe he'll come back. It's like... Uh, I think the voices we heard before, previously, you know, because we heard... It was like a voice talking to us, like... Even from beginning, basically. From the beginning of the game. I think he was that voice inside our head. I should uh, go a bit more deeper into crafting because I really didn't craft a lot of things, but I didn't really need it. Let's see. He'll offer us a free blowjob. Let's see. Oh, so enemies are spawning. Wait a second, because I see they are spawning again. Uh, for the new ones which are watching, I'm doing a deathless run on the hardest difficulty. So basically, I don't want to die, you know. <laughs> That's why, as soon as I see, because they are like daft, they are spawning like shit. They have no logic in spawning them, you know what I mean? It's like just spawning them on top of you, around you, you know? It's like... So... Uh, I'm gonna show you another bug, which you can use if you are surrounded by enemies and you want to deny damage, yeah? You just press, press the skill, basically, one of the skills you have. And that will deny all the damage you, you can take. Look, for example, now, I was like just pressing that. 
You have three skills, that's the four skills, that's the most pathetic thing. Imagine if they were like putting skills on a on a each single weapon, you know? That was like fucking spot on. Imagine reaching level five, upgrading a level uh, weapon to level five, giving you like s an upgrade on that on that weapon, you know, like on that skill. You saw that was an invisible wall there. That's what I'm. That's what this is. What I'm playing, guys, for fucking, fucking, I don't know, nine hours, six, uh, six to nine hours, and I'm so fucking sick of it. I'm saying this, this to the new one, which didn't saw the last, the previous episode, and just bumped onto this one basically by accident or something. <laughs> And that's that's the most ridiculous thing. They, these are the big guys, yeah. They will like knock you down, bro. You know, I was like charging a heavy there. But they don't give a shit about my heavy. And just to understand why I'm critting when I'm doing heavies, because I'm using this weapon. And this weapon is the one with 40% chance. That's why. But the heavies on this weapon are working just on... On the heavy attacks. And it's not mentioned anywhere. You know what I mean? It, it's not really mentioned anywhere. It's just lame. We have like a couple of spears. Most of them are having the same attack moves. I'm gonna cover them, like I said, as soon as we reach the, the next map. This debug message is still on the... On the fucking... Uh, window, like... I think we explored everything in this room. What the fuck is this? Ah, they blocked us, so we cannot go back. Anyway, I think I explored everything in this shit. I don't need to come back again in this. I like the theme of this map because it has like a red overlay on top of it. But enemies were the same kind of, nothing new. good it is to breathe fresh air again thank you achilles i owe you my life and the lives of others how do you know my name i know more about you than you think my name is pythia i served people as an oracle for you these hooded people they were the ones who kidnapped us and brought us to these cursed ruins a long time ago i saw that being in my vision how it grows and emerges from an evil warped heart. Do these visions always have to be so mysterious? What else did you see? Alas, that's everything I remember. The vision was brief and vague. To better understand the nature of that being, I'll have to retrieve knowledge from my old temple. If you want to help me with that, let's meet up by the old gate near Mycenae. It leads to the other side of the mountain. And if you know anyone from around here, you should warn them. Dark times are coming. I will do just that. I'll join you soon. Take care. Let's see if she is. I see the the debug message disappear. So this was like her main dialogue, and now. The others, and let's meet by the gate near the road to Mycenae. Whoever that being is, I'm sure we'll hear about it again. Warn the others. The, the same shit bro why i'm like i don't like this at all i was preferring her to don't talk again with me or just make her fucking go away move move to the gate of my senior or wherever you want to go just move don't stay here that being was not from this world i need to warn the citizens 
He needs one of the citizens. Let's I see what he's saying. Never see the sun again. Thank you, stranger. A thousand times, thank you. Yeah, no worries, my friend. I thought I would never see the sun again. Thank you, stranger. A thousand times, thank you. Yeah, but you just said you will need to warn the citizen. Get the fuck out as well, or or shut the fuck up. Don't talk with me again. I'll always be indebted to you, oh warrior. No, please. I'll do what you want. Just don't make me go back there. This one has some fucking schizophrenia or something. He's like, thank you, warrior, and now he's telling me, no, please. I'll do what you want. Just don't make me go back there. Bro, go and commit the... Uh, go on the tallest mountain you find and just jump out. If you really are doing whatever I'm telling you, just do that. Yeah, you understand my point? Why they are sitting here? And if they are sitting here, why you have these icons on top of them just to come here to what to tell you the same fucking stupid thing? Thank you, stranger. A thousand. It's not looking good for the game. You know what I mean? It's like just lame. This was like game designing in fucking fifteen years ago. You know what I mean? Like. 15 years ago, we still have games 10 times better than this thing. Look, what what's that? What's this? What's what's this shit? I'm running now. I'm running. What's this? You reach that shit. Mm. You know, and it's not only on this. This is like just what we saw earlier on previously on that thing. I was like it was something like this, I tried to dodge, you know, to roll dodge, and I was dodging in an invisible wall. It wasn't an invisible wall, it was just a bump on the texture, but I couldn't pass it, and they almost, you know, flanked me, because there were like six of them, when I fought earlier on that, uh, close to that pit, when they were like spawning on top of me. I was like just getting, you know, blocked by some texture and i did that two times and i saw my guy is not passing this and i was like fuck it i rolled on the other side but that shit imagine the enemy surrounding you body blocking you starting like if you get hit you're gonna be stun locked for half a second and sometimes it's enough if the enemy have like a big amount of damage you're gonna die there Okay, I'm not gonna walk through all this shit because I'm not really a fan of it anymore, so Let's just teleport here Because apparently we need to warn the smith I really wanted to see the smith like Teleport, let's teleport Come on here And before we go to the smith, I'm gonna... Because I want to see what weapon I want to use as the main weapon, yeah? And I'm gonna test a bit, couple of things. It will take like 5-10 minutes. A maximum of 10 minutes. But it will be like 5 minutes. This cyclops, I was calling them like trolls and fucking ogres. But I realized they are Cyclops, see? They have one eye. But look at them. This one is bugged. He's doing nothing. Okay, he can smash the ground, but nothing else. And it's not always like that, because sometimes... How the fuck he throw that barrel at me when he was facing this? It's 2024, my friend. It's funny, you know, it, if this game wasn't like so stressful, because now I'm seeing it boring as fuck and in the beginning I was laughing on shit, but when you see them like plenty of times, plenty of times, it's like not even funny anymore, you know what I mean? 
He's doing like a one to combo. So right now, let's choose a weapon for the main. But the only thing is like, I cannot, I'm not allowed to use because this is changing my so I want kind of the same thing, you know. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite like weapon choice. Because he's doing like first attack, he's doing like a 360 cleave. And... It's by far the best because if you hit an enemy, you're gonna stun lock him. The needle is a decent weapon. The thing with the needle is changing my move set into it's faster. It's faster, but it's not 360. That's the thing. It's looking like it's a cleave, but it's not not the same witness of this one. Basically. Let's see this one. This one is kind of the same. And let's see what's the damage saying. 35 plus 13 is 48. So basically... What's he saying is like... 10 damage is the same but this is a little at least crits mm. yeah I'm gonna use this and for the second weapon I have this one I, it's by far the best I know this one is saying plus eight but look as soon as I'm hitting the damage drops so this one is already better. I'm looking for some pluses there. Unfortunately, I can't really find. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna wait. I'm gonna upgrade this, this one as well for the time being. Let's see the smith now. Oh, it's just you. I'm not in the right headspace for a chat. I can see that something's bothering you. Where is Pirtos? Pirtos left. Besides, it's none of your business. Tell me what you want. I wanted to warn you. After Agamemnon's death, a certain being appeared. It's not from this world. It kidnaps priests, and some followers serve it. Malaka! I feel it in my bones that your visit to my city could bring trouble. I'm starting to regret helping you. If it's as bad as you say, I'll have to warn the people around. What are you planning to do now? I need to help the Oracle. We're trying to find out more about this being. What it is, or who, and its plans. Seems that one problem caused another. Shit. What did you get yourself into this time? So this motherfucker is telling us this. I'm asking him where is Firtos, and he's telling me like it's none of my business. I saved Firtos two times. Once from a fucking... I killed the scorpion which was like next to him. And the uh, second time, he sent me to kill the Scorpion King, which was basically a boss. But that boss was like the... has had the same moves and attacks like a normal Scorpion. You know what I mean? But actually, I saved that motherfucker two times. I told him Firtos was in trouble. I went to recover his tools... Because Firtos told me he lost them. And he's telling me it's none of my business. Who the fuck wrote this shit? And who the fuck now wants to teach others 
to develop games and storytelling. What storytelling, bro? Storytelling, this motherfucker should be thankful because I saved his apprentice and he apparently gives a shit about his apprentice, you know what I mean? It's just the daftest fucking game I ever played, I swear to god. I'm gonna upgrade this till we get like, we have plus 9, plus 9. I was hoping we can upgrade the armor, but unfortunately this is the maximum upgrade for this forge, so... Basically next time when we heal gonna give us a quest, he will upgrade our fucking... Uh... Yeah, we can upgrade this further on. Let me see if I can buy any armors from him now. Nah. That's another bullshit, you know what I mean? We can buy armor. We can buy this shield. But I don't have bronze fragments now, so. Let's see what else can we buy. Bronze shards. Oh, okay, so he's selling materials now. Because till now he was selling just these weapons. Till here something like this was all his inventory till now. But apparently now we unlock more of his inventory. And if we can buy bronze shards, this means... That we can upgrade this motherfucker further on. Ah no, because it's bronze fragments, it's not bronze shard. I was, I was thinking he's selling like... Yeah, he's selling shit. Yeah, so... I think that's it with him. I'm curious where the quest will take us now. Okay, so we have a rift here. I don't know how, how these rifts are appearing suddenly on the map. We still have this one, this one, and this one to explore. But I don't want to go and explore them till the point. Because I was exploring some shit and, bef uh, and after that the quest yeah, sent us there. Knew a suspicious amount about the priests and that being. I hope I will encounter him again. Yeah, so we have a rift there. I'm not bothered by rifts now. Rifts are like a endurance test, you know, some waves will spawn on top of you. And you just need to fucking... Now I'm thinking to upgrade... Because I was... Uh, basically all nodes you can upgrade them like for three times. And uh, I'm gonna build like a full HP build, you know, I'm gonna use... Invest into this and into this. But in the same time, I want to test some strength because I'm thinking to use two-hand swords. And two-hand swords are scaling A with strength. You know what I mean? And I want to see if I can break the game. Because I already play, broke the game like with this build. But I want to see if I can break it damage-wise. I want to one-shot everyone on the map. But that will be like later on, because right now I want to get around level 80. Around level 80, I'm gonna respect myself into, into a strength, vitality build. Yeah, damage-wise, you don't feel it, but if you do like heavies, you're gonna feel it. So where the fuck we need to go? Let's go through here because I see it's like we didn't explore this path. Bro, I'm attacking you and you, you just rush for that shit. Are you kidding me? He's suicidal. So. What the idiot. We are on the point where we don't give a shit about getting hit by enemies. The only... My biggest threat as enemies are wolves. 
if you see a pack of six wolf and you are not having at least hp like a maximum hp like of 900 just run because they don't give a shit about your attacks they will attack you through your attacks so you're gonna be like stun locked and decapitated uh, you're gonna be stun locked and uh, most probably you're gonna die or just use this item as soon as possible when you feel yourself cornered or if you feel like you can do shit use one of your skills this skill is extremely good because it's knocking them down this one and after that use that thing or if you can save yourself like get yourself out from that position and you want to fight them because you can like use this skill basically pop a potion pop a potion and you can fucking continue fighting but depends on the amount of enemies you have there so what the fuck we need to do now okay we can still okay it's a chest somewhere around here so yeah let's go to to, to that chest the citizens in this game are like just lame as soon as they see you they are starting running i don't understand why I think I met one lady which wasn't giving a shit about me fighting them. She was still sweeping some fucking floors. But otherwise, most of the citizens are running like maniacs. And this skill is good to break that shit. Supply. Like I said, as soon as we're gonna reach the new map, I'm gonna do like an in-depth tutorial. And I guess as soon as we... before the... Oh, wait, 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 yeah. We need to fight this thing. While you're uh, in that, while you are using this, your life is draining. But because we have like a fucking massive ish people, we don't give a shit about that percentage, you know? And don't get me wrong, I can still die. Trust me, I can still die. You saw it in the blue. In that shit, shitty uh, place where the pit was. I was like extremely close to death. See, if I'm attacking, he's like stunlock. Going in between there. And if I'm, I'm attacking kind of all of them on the same time, you know. So all of them are getting stun locked. That's why I'm saying these weapons are the best ones. Not these weapons in particular, but this set of weapons, you know, this main weapon basically. I don't want to test that shit yet. Because anyway, I'm gonna do like a guide and I'm gonna test them then. These are sellers basically, so in this... You just find a couple of rooms and some loot. Don't kill me. But if you saw the series till now, you already know this thing. So yeah, let's move on. Yeah, 
lost his head apparently. Dual wielders are extremely annoying. The game has some nice details. You saw that archer is lighting his fire, uh, his arrow from from this shit. Uh, the best way to fight two of them are like just to stacking them up and use this and use the heavy because you're gonna knock them down. Mm. I'm gonna leave it because maybe the uh, a quest will gonna send me inside of that thing. the fights will look the same that's the the thing which i don't like about the game because it's basically you are running charging them with a heavy running charging them with a heavy running charging him with a heavy focus archers go back on heavies and after seven hours or eight hours of this shit you are like tired. <laughs> it's like so repetitive. And now you put like this even if you use a different type types of weapons, it's the same shit. Even two hand swords, I didn't use them. I, I tried them, but I didn't use them because the, the consumption the energy consumption is annoying as fuck. Let's see how many levels we have. Just one. Let's put another one in strength. Here was the hardest boss. I encountered in the game but it wasn't hard it was just tanky as fuck and he had some he was pretty fast closed shut I want to open the gate from this side maybe I can find some other passage good to see you Achilles it seems that the old gate is closed but I managed to find this cave. The entrance to it is blocked by this symbol. I've seen it before. It's some kind of seal. It beams with a powerful, unknown force. I will try to destroy it. Wait, this problem can't be solved with muscles. Maybe I'll try taking care of it. For he sing the astir. Pa stay. One more time. Focus. He's afraid of she froze. She's frozen. believe it would work well it seems that the passage is open let's go inside wait it's too risky for you to go with me 
If for some reason that creature wanted to hunt you down, it's best not to make it easy for it. Its minions might have intentionally blocked the main gate and set a trap for us in this cave. In that case, you go first and look for a way to open the gate. If I remember correctly, there were some levers on the other side. She's useless. She's apparently the oracle. Because I saw him talking with uh, when he told uh, he spoke with the blacksmith. He, Achilles told the blacksmith he needs to, to help the oracle basically. But uh, basically she's useless. Because that entity who talked to us was like freezing time. And he opened the portal for us. And now she thinks she did it. That's a bit... Uh, Who are you? I'm just the caretaker of the dead. We first met in my kingdom. Malaka reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That guy was saying Malaka plenty of times. Oh, let's check the map a bit. Okay, so. The easiest route is through here. But I want to explore all this shit first. All of them are hitting. You understand what a fucked up game we play? Sometimes it needs just one. Sometimes you need to spam it with like. I'll need to craft some bombs. I if because I remember we. We have the rest for bombs. Actually, let me see crafting. Oh, we can craft traps now. I need to use them to see how uh, useful they can be. Oh, so we don't have the rest before the bombs. I don't know why I thought we have them. Okay, fine. Give me your money, bastard. Yes, now. What is a needle? That's changing our attack set. Because I used the needle before and I it's making the attacks faster, but it's Fucking up the cleave. Impossible. I thought gods didn't exist. I must I think this is a friendly one. It's not like the snake. 
that fucking serpent. Where are my guys attack? He froze skeleton. Mm -hmm. Just let me, just let me click. It on. They didn't drop the shit. a nice spider it was nice to have opponents like spider opponent mm, imagine like look another one they could like slow us with their webs and shit that was a nice thing to fight we fight kind of these spider crabs or something I don't know what the Oh, yeah. And the uh, scorpions as well. In a way, I'm missing scorpions. Because they are like chubby, cute fuckers. Lately, we fought so many spider crabs that I'm sick of them. Check the map a bit, cause I I'm extremely confused where the fuck we are. Ah, okay, that's good. We actually explored it like properly. So good, just pass through fire. Okay, let's keep moving on. I created that one eight hundred nineteen. Don't ask me how, cause even I don't know how that was a one eight hundred ten on one weapon. Cause the other one created I bet like four hundred as well. These spiders are nice. Imagine like passing these and all these cocoon were like breaking and spiders were attacking us. Creativeness developer level zero. There are some symbols on this chest. Let's see if we can... No, we can break it like that.
819. That was a huge damage. connect them to I don't know where we are now okay let's see what we have here Yeah, we've been here. We walk down that path. I don't know if this one is like. Yeah, I bet we've been there because we just moved on like through the other other side. Not through here. So now let's go and open that chest. Let's see if this is working yet. Yeah, a new spear. I'm gonna cover spears. When I'm gonna do the guide, because spears are useless from my point of view. Why did you hide your true nature from me? He looks badass. Oh, oh. Any of this. So Hades is one of our friends now. That's good. I was thinking it has something to do with him just because we we passed so many shrines of Hades, you know what I mean? So basically he's the the good guy in a way. Now I remember everything. Just when I thought I would spend eternity in the realm of the dead, he appeared. I took his hand, and he pulled me from the deepest depths. Out of all people, he chose me, a mere mortal. I was supposed to set out for a new war, the most important war of my life. My courage combined with the power of sticks was supposed to be the weapon that would give us a chance of winning, and that would save both worlds from the impending doom. His, his courage combined with the power of sticks. Sticks is not that guy who. It was a game called Sticks. And he was like. Uh, a sneaky motherfucker. I remember I played that game like when I was a kid or something. So we have two options. We're gonna even unlock this too. Or we're gonna even unlock this too. Let's go for our uh, main build. Uh, where about are we now? Because I think it's a. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a nice one. This is a. Basically, this is the new map. 
Okay, here I ex I'm expecting to find some fucking new enemies, guys. Because I'm like sick of fighting the same fucking bullshit all over again. So let's go to this. Let's go to the main quest. Kill the bastard. Kill the bastard. Archers, okay. Archers are. I'm not. I'm not surprised because archers are, are always archers, you know. So they'll be around. I guess. We we are getting large potions now, and we are using just a small one. The camera on this is awkward. Found a new shrine. Yeah. As soon as we I'm gonna leave it here for the time being, but anyway, as soon as we're gonna speak with this or what we need to do, open ah okay, as soon as we're gonna open that gate. Oracle told us to open the gate. Yeah, I don't know. I hope we are going to show up somewhere here. Because if not, we need to travel. I don't even know where the blacksmith Because we need to go back onto the other map to upgrade the armors. You know what I mean? Weapon. So that will be... Not the armors. The armor. Because we have just one armor set. But, uh, yeah. Uh, for the time, this is like a massive fucking map. I'm, uh, I'm fine with this. Uh, but for the time being, we're gonna leave it here. Uh, thanks again for watching, and thanks for your patience, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.